Hi, and welcome to this video on measuring rangelands from space. In this video, we're going to introduce just some of the highest level concepts of remote sensing so that you can gain an appreciation of how satellite data are useful in rangeland vegetation monitoring. So I hope you enjoy. The term remote sensing can be defined as the science of obtaining information about objects or areas from a distance, typically from aircraft or satellites. And essentially, remote sensing is just another way of measuring rangelands. Most often when we think of rangeland vegetation monitoring, we think of a scene like this photo. A team collecting vegetation data using transects on location in the field. Field-based methods are irreplaceable, but they have their own set of limitations that remote sensing can help to overcome. The field of remote sensing is almost as broad as that of field monitoring. And there are a lot of ways to do remote sensing. By now, you're probably familiar with a variety of remote sensing datasets and instruments. For example, you may have seen unmanned aerial vehicles monitor rangeland vegetation. Or you may use products collected by aircrafts or satellites. Some remote sensing data that you might use every day are even collected from the Earth's surface. A few examples of these products are the USDA's National Agricultural Imagery Program, or NAEP, the National Land Cover Dataset, Land Fire, and even Google Maps has aspects of remote sensing involved. You also may not have thought of weather radar as remote sensing, but in fact it is. While there are a variety of different types of remote sensing, here we're going to simplify things and focus on one of the most common and useful approaches passive remote sensing. Passive remote sensing, as our fictitious satellite, which we'll call RangeSense, will demonstrate, relies on the energy from the sun. The energy from the sun moves through the atmosphere and comes into contact with the Earth's surface. At that point, it is either absorbed or reflected. And that energy is ultimately either reflected or emitted by the Earth's surface providing tremendous information about vegetation and a variety of other processes. To understand how this reflected energy tells us about plants, we'll need to look closer at the specific types of energy that are being reflected. And to do that, we'll need to think about the electromagnetic spectrum. Range sense measures different portions of the electromagnetic spectrum which each provide different types of information about the environment. As humans, we're most familiar with just one part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Our eyes sense visible light in the form of red, green, and blue light. They help us to see that this prairie landscape is green and healthy. Range Sense also measures red, green, and blue light, but it goes a few steps beyond what our eyes are capable of, and also measures portions of the infrared as well. Satellites collect information about the environment that we as humans are unable to observe, and it does so over the entire globe. Thank you for joining me for this video on measuring rangelands from space. If you have any questions or video requests, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, be sure and check out the other videos linked up here that are closely related to what you're watching now. So thank you very much and see you next time.